This is 5 on your side at 10. Well, it's homecoming weekend for Fort Zumwalt schools, and this comes days after the school board decided to make masks optional for students. And, of course, not everyone is happy with that. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michelle Lee. Casey Nolan has the night off. Some parents do not approve of the board's decision to make masks optional or a last minute change of plans for homecoming. Here's Pepper Baker. Homecoming is important and none of us want any of our kids to miss out on the important things in high school. We just we just want our kids to be safe. Heather Mudd spent weeks helping her daughter get ready for the Fort Zumwalt West High School homecoming dance just to have district leaders switch up the plans. Homecoming was supposed to be outside. Obviously, it couldn't be outside last night because of the weather, but we were expecting it to be safe for no masks outside tonight and last minute that was changed as well. Mud was against the school board's decision to make masks optional on Wednesday. Her concerns grew even more after she received an email on Thursday that Fort Zumwalt East and West High School's dances moved indoors. Kids who choose to be masked will have a separate area in the, the mezzanine of the high school um, where that will be a mask area only and so they can attend the dance. Um, it's still not what I would call a win-win um, because they are being segregated, but at least they are given a safe option. The St. Charles County Parents Association was in favor of the decision to revert back to a mask optional policy. Some parents also commented on Facebook expressing their support. Mud feels it was poor timing. It definitely was disappointing that they would put it so late, so close to the event and so late in the day that really we, we had to scramble as parents who are concerned to try and get something to accommodate kids that need to be masked. She says her daughter is vaccinated and will continue to wear a mask even at the homecoming dance. We were counting on the district to help provide a safe learning environment for our kids to be in school this year and I'm disappointed. In St. Charles County, Pepper Baker, five on your side. Now, a survey was released earlier this month showing parents and guardians are split 50-50 when it comes to masks. The latest data from the Fort Zumwalt School District website says there have been 54 positive COVID cases and 121 students and staff quarantined over the last two weeks. That includes all schools. Many of those cases are also not connected to the school. And to put those numbers in perspective, there are more than 18,000 students in the entire district.